All right, we're going to take a look at the assignment module today, the purpose of which is um, to move towards a paper mintless classroom based on increasing the number of digital experiences that students um, have the opportunity to include in the learning process based on how often they are on a digital device with that is internet enabled. All right, so I'm in my Keras's class and I am going to turn editing on, which is gonna give me all my editing icons and tools and menus. And I'm gonna scroll down to his first unit called the study of life. And we're gonna take a look at these um, pieces of content that are posted in this block. Everything that has an icon that looks like this with a paper and a hand on it um, is an example of a digital assignment. And so we're gonna look at one of them. Just, uh, just before I go into one of them, the way that these were posted originally is in the block where you want it to be placed. You would go down to the bottom and click on add an activity or a resource. And then you are going to choose assignment. Um, and then you'll have a number of fields to fill in. And I will show you those fields now by looking at one that was posted by Mike, but I'm gonna cancel the blank one here. And I am gonna go into this one right here called Experiment, Experimental Variables. And in order to see the, um, how he set that up, we would click on the little gear to update it. So I'm gonna click on that. Let me go through each of the fields that you would need to fill in if you were gonna post a digital assignment. First of all, you're gonna to wanna to name the assignment. And then you have a description field, and that's really like your instructions, telling the students what to do. Notice how I don't have my editing tools there. They're sometimes hiding in Moodle, so if you want to have an editing toolbar, you click on Show Editing Tools, and you will get those things. And just keep in mind that within your description, you can link to um, other websites, you can link to video, you can embed YouTube video, you can um, link to files. So if you had some sort of a PDF they needed to read or an article that they needed to read, you could make a hyperlink from your text in your description to download a PDF. Um, so really all of those things are uh, um, enabled within the description field. Again, if this isn't enough space for you to work with, you can click on this icon to enlarge to full screen mode. All right, you got, you, if you'd like to, you can um, put a window in which students could submit these, this digital assignment. Generally, I don't do that. Um, if I don't want the students to see or be able to interact with it, I'll use the hide icon on the home page. Um, probably the most important part here is submission types. This is basically defining what are you gonna ask the students to do? If you're asking them to simply answer a question or a series of questions that you pose, you could put in a question mark in front of online text. What that would give them is a text editing box for them to submit a response by keyboard input, inputting. You can also have them upload a file. So for example, let's say you were asking a student to make a PowerPoint presentation, or let's say they were doing something on an iPad in a Notability, or maybe they had to take a, an image um, with their iPad, so they take a picture with the camera of work that they've done or um, evidence of work that they've done. That would be a file submission, any sort of an external file made by some other program or application, whether it be on a computer or an iPad, that they need to upload to Moodle file submission. Um, and then lastly, if you wanted them to be able to comment on their work, you put a check mark here. So it's possible that you would have them submit a file, but then you also want them to explain something about that file or that piece of work that they submitted. You could put a second check mark there. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention about online text, if the work that they do is digital work, so let's say you asked them to create a YouTube video and you, you could and you wanted them to give you the hyperlink or the URL to that YouTube video, you could choose online text and you could ask them to paste that link to a, either a doc or a video or something that's public online. You could have them do that in their text editing box. So those are some possibilities. Um, if they do upload a file, 
then you want to make sure that the, um, you put this to the maximum file size so they don't get an error message because the file is too big. Let's look at these other sections. Normally I just uh, check this um, to, so that you have a box to um, type in feedback after they submit their assignment. And then I've just found it's healthier if you say no to this because otherwise um, basically what happens is that whatever the students do in terms of typing an answer, it's considered a draft unless they click on a submit button. And quite frankly, some people don't ever think to click on the submit button, so then you don't get alerted by email when it's done. So I found this to be better as no. Um, there is a submission statement having to do with um, agreeing that uh, the students click on that to say that this was their own work, so it's kind of a ethical thing. If you want them to read and, uh, and say, yes, I agree with that, you could, you could change that to yes. Do you want them to be able to reopen this assignment and submit again? Or how many times can they submit? You can define that. I'm going to skip over the group, but I do um, for another time. But groups can work on um, assignments together collaboratively in Moodle. And then you have the ability to determine whether you want to notify students by email. Now, if they, that would have to do with the email that they have in their Moodle profile. You could um, uh, post a grading scale. So if you want them to be able to see how many points you gave them in Moodle, you have the ability to put a number of points. Or if you want to give them subjective feedback, there are grading scales here that are already created. Plus, in Moodle, you can um, customize your own grading scale. I'm not going into that as well. These two things I need to skip until later. So um, let's just take a look quickly. If I go back. Um, to this assignment. I'm going to get out of here. I want you to see what it looks like because in this case the students um, submitted a PDF um, from an iPad. So I'm going to show you what this would look like. You would get a class list and um, if you have created groups in your class you could uh, filter by your groups or your subgroups and you can also um, sort by any header in the spreadsheet. So I could sort by last name or now in order to get over in the spreadsheet the way that I'm doing to see the entire spreadsheet I am doing a two finger swipe or scroll on my Mac laptop. Um, I usually like to sort by this column so I can see the last person <clears throat> who submitted their assignment. But I also wanted you to see that you have your um, the links to the PDFs that the students submitted here. Otherwise, if it was text that they type in, you would probably click on this icon to read that text. So I wanted you to see what it looks like after students have submitted as well.